Welcome to Melbourne Private Apartments, a luxurious waterfront tower in the heart of the city. My name is Lana Murphy and today I am joined by one of the world's best tennis players, Hubert Herkacz. He is the highest ranked Polish singles player in his country's history and today he's a guest of Melbourne Private Apartments. Thanks for joining me, Hubie. Thank you for, for having me. We are sitting in a beautiful location right now, just looking out the window, you can see this uh, gorgeous view. How is it staying here with this amazing outlook over the city and the harbour? No, I mean, I really love being here. It's my, it's my second, uh, second time staying here and, uh, you know, it's really, the, the, the quality is really high and obviously you have uh, some stunning views uh, throughout the whole day and, uh, and then also you can, you know, if you're uh, overlooking the, the sea, you can see a sunset, so that's, uh, that's really beautiful. Obviously you enjoyed it last time, you've just mentioned it's your second time returning. What is it about this complex that you've really enjoyed staying at? Well, I think it's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of in the middle of the city, but it's a little bit, uh, you know, on the outside. So I really love that it's, it's also a little bit more quiet and, uh, and also like the sea is within, within, you know, a couple of minutes uh, time reach. <laughs> How easy is it for you to get around in terms of, you know, access to, I guess, the city's amenities? Obviously, the tennis centre is where you're travelling to every day. Is it pretty easy to get there? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy. I mean, you have a couple of restaurants around, you have a big supermarket and, and then going to the tennis centre is also very easy. Just take the, the, the highway and you're, you're right there. So I think that's uh, we're also really important because you just don't want to you know, be stuck in the car for hours. That's always handy. How are you finding staying at, you know, an apartment accommodation like this, as opposed to, I guess, your standard hotel? Well, definitely, you know, it's it's way more spacious, and uh, you know, you just feel more uh, more like home than 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 than, than hotel. Because obviously, you know, as a tennis player, you just travel around uh, almost all the time, so so it just uh, feels nicer to be in an apartment. Have you had a chance to use any of the, the gym or the pool or the spa or anything like that? Well, I used the gym one time, so that was, uh, that was good. Had a good, good, good workout, but uh, yeah, so, so far only gym. The gym is up to the standards of one of the world's best tennis players. Yeah, yeah, definitely, you know, you can, you can, you know, you can definitely do your, do your stuff here. So, so that was great. You mentioned that you've been in Melbourne about six times now. Can you tell us what, I guess, one of your favourite things about our city is? Well, I really, really enjoy Melbourne. I mean, especially, you know, the, the river going through the middle of the city and then, uh, then the tennis courts uh, being right up there. So, so that's, you know, really special because not, not, not often you have such a big tennis center, literally like a couple of minutes drive from the, from the city center. So that's really, you know, amazing. And as, as well, you have like some, some really amazing parks and it's very nice. Beautiful. In terms of the Australian Open, how important is this Grand Slam in terms of setting up your year? Well, definitely, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a Grand Slam. It's, it's a very big event and uh, you know, every one of the players is very excited to, to, to participate in it. So, so, I'm, so am I and you know, really, really excited to, you know, to, 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 to have my first, you know, first, first very big tournament at the beginning of the year and especially you know with, with the Australian fans being super nice it's 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 great to be here. We are quite nice aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, is there anyone that you've been seeing coming through the ranks in the last 12 months that you've been keeping your eye on any players that you think might you know give you a good run for your money this year? Well I mean you know definitely there are many players you know every single player you know works hard Tries, tries his best, uh, her best to, to, you know, to improve, to get better. So I think the competition is, is really strong. Obviously, you know, we have, we have Rafa, you have Novak here and, uh, and, uh, and yeah, and the likes like, uh, like Nick, who, who, you know, who can play in unbelievable tennis that, uh, and, and produce an amazing show. Is there one player that's, I guess, your holy grail goal? Anyone you want to play, anyone you need to beat to kind of tick that off on your bucket list? Well, I think, you know, definitely, you know, definitely, definitely playing Novak, that would be, I mean, I had a chance to play a couple of times, uh, so far I didn't, didn't win. So, so yeah, that would be, that would be great to have that opportunity. You had a practice match against Rafa recently and you did very well. You scored a win. How do you reflect on that? 
Well, I mean, it was the practice, so, so obviously, you know, you just try to work on some things to, you know, just a couple of days before the tournament, you, uh, you want to, you know, just uh, make sure everything's right and then like if, uh, then work on some stuff that maybe it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not great, but uh, yeah, that was, that was fun experience, obviously Rafa brings amazing energy, amazing attitude to the course, so, so playing with him, against him is just, just a huge pleasure. Well, you did mention Nick Kyrgios just before. Mm -hmm. He's got a pretty good reputation for getting the crowd going, amping us up. We're all quite loud here in Australia. How do you think you'll go if the time comes for you to play against him, against a home crowd like that? How will you feel? Well, I mean, that's definitely, you know, definitely the home crowd, you know, there. Nick with, uh, with, with Tanasi won the doubles here. So I think that's definitely, you know, some, some extra energy for for, for them as well, so I think it's, uh, you know, playing Knicks is, is always super tough and super challenging as, you know, as the, as the way he plays, it's just, just really amazing. So, so then with the, with the home crowd advantage, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a big challenge for, for everyone. A lot of the tennis experts have said that you are going to be extremely dangerous this year. That's the quote that they've been using. What have you done to earn that title? And are you going to live know, up to I it? <laughs> I mean, it was, was, we'll see, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely happy with the preparation that I've done for the season. I just put, you know, most amount of effort to, to, to every single practice. So, so, so really happy with that. And uh, yeah, just there are some couple of things I'm still working on that uh, that when they get really good, that that's gonna that's gonna be good for me. It sounds like only up from here. So mm. good luck. We can't wait to watch. Thank you so much.